Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to show the Visual Stop Loss and Take Profit Manager in live action. So this VA is designed to help the manual traders to uh, freely move their stop loss and take profit for their orders without actually calculating pips. You can uh, move your stop loss and take profit by just looking at the chart and based on your analysis. Instead of uh, Instead of choosing, let's say, instead of choosing a number, uh, an order, and modify delete order, and, and then have to use this to just show um, the actual number, okay? So uh, what it does, like right now, I already have the this year in action. I already have one order in under management. What this EA does it. It automatically draw a line after it finds the order and represents take profit. And here I also have the um, order uh, numbering here. So in case we have a number of orders, and each line will identify what each line means. And whenever you move a line, in this case, this line, it will take the next pip for for the order stop loss to be modified. So this line represents the stop loss for this order and after I move it the next pip when uh, your broker when you find the movement it's going to modify the stop loss for this particular order to this place and the center the vertical center of these um, text will be the exact uh, candle where you open your order so you can imagine if your order is open here, these texts will be in line like in here. Okay. And whenever an order is being closed, let's pull this up. This one is GPBUSD. See, if I actually close this order, well, let, let me first show you what it does if I have multiple order. Like right now, price is here. If I just open an order, if I open a cell, see right now I have one buy here, then I have one one sell here. See now next tick and EA finds this new order, it will automatically identify the stop loss and take profit. And how does the EA decide where the stop loss and take profit will be? It has you have a default choice of what that's going to be. Okay, and then if you move these lines, because it recognizes which order that it is attached to, then it automatically modifies that order's particular order stop loss. And then if any of these orders is being closed by whatever reason, could be you, could be this EA, could this could be an order from some other EA. But as soon as the order is closed, all these information is gone. Okay. Or, well, you have this already in place. If you remove the EA, these will still be there. So next time, if you put the EA on again, it will still continue to manage those. Okay, or let's see, remove, or after you remove, you delete all these things. The behavior of this EA is this. Next time you turn the CA on, it will automatically return that to your default setting. So make sure this is actually what you want before you do it. It could be keeping to its originally uh, position, or if you wanted to return to its default setting, you simply remove those lines. Okay, the text doesn't matter. EA identify those by lines. So now we will go back to the default setting. So what when I say EA find an order that needs to be managed, what does that mean? This EA gives you multiple choices, and first. Manage all trades if this is true. Any trades, as long as it's under the symbol of GPBUSD, which is 
where current EA is attached, then all the trades will be under management. Most likely, what makes most sense is, see, those e, this EA can manage trade that is submitted by other EA. But if you want this EA to manage stop loss and take profit, in my view, what makes most sense is this order will not be attached with the stop loss and take profit to begin with. Okay? And you can also choose this to be false. In that case, EA will only manage orders that are attached by specific magic number. If this magic number to be zero, that means all manually open trades. So in your account, if your trades with GPBUSD, some are manually opened, some are opened by other EA. If you put this to be zero, that means this, this EA will not manage any other order by other EAs. So sometimes this is good for you because uh, most likely other EAs will already have its own ways of managing stop loss and take profit. We don't want a, two EAs to like uh, conflict each other. Okay, or you can put a specific magic number that only manage a specific magic number. And it could be submitted by other EA, but it doesn't have a good way of uh, modifying stop loss and take profit. Okay, and these two variables define the default stop loss and take profit distance, and this defines the default take profit and stop loss color.